Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Batman Arkham Origins Classic TV Series Batman. Adam West never has looked so big in bulk. That's because this is a skin that you can get in Arkham Origins featuring the classic Batman costume. Uh, it is highly uh, detailed and authentic. It's an adult collectible and it comes to us from the folks over at Mattel. The back of the package features a small read-up, says real name Bruce Wayne, high-tech gear, cow with detective vision, which shows skeletons and detects whether an, uh, an enemy is armed or wearing body armor. Other figures available are Hush, which I don't think that spot has picked up yet, Scarecrow, and Arkham Knight. DC Comics Multiverse figures are inspired by comic-based character-rich entertainment sources such as movies and video games. These figures are meticulously designed to be truly authentic, celebrating the many universes of entertaining DC Comics material. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, we're getting a better look at the TV classic TV series, Batman classic TV series, uh, Batman from DC Comics Multiverse. It's more heavy way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Getting the classic TV series Batman out of packaging. One nice treat that you get on the back is that the figure comes with an actual fabric cape as opposed to being sculpted plastic. It seems off. I don't know, it's just maybe the fabric itself has been bunched too much. It also looks like it, it has been adhered to the back of the character's back. Possibly looks like a little bit of glue or something like that. The cape sits very thin though, which is one downside I have to it, and also is very oddly pointed at the bottom, as opposed to being shorter points, you get very long, almost teardrop-like points to it. A little on the strange side, but at least I welcome that it's fabric as opposed to plastic. Uh, yes, in fact, the bulk size of Batman here Adam West would never look like this. Adam West would love to look like this, but this is a skin that you can get in the game. For his face, it's not to be expected that it will look like Adam West either. You kind of get the gist of it with his cowl, the painted eyebrows, the fact that the front face of the cowl is a different color than the rest of the cowl itself. Yes, these are very much attributes, very much features that you would expect from a classic series Batman. It's also got the blue gloves. One open hand, though sadly does not come with any sort of accessory to speak of. One thing that also has carried over is the bat emblem that's very faintly there in silver on a gold belt buckle. Yellow utility belt, not the cleanest mind you. You can see some of the paint underneath where the yellow quite hasn't quite done a very good job. And the bat emblem also is a classic design too. He seems big and bulky and a little short and squatty on the leg area, but not somehow to the, the extent that what I thought was with the uh, Batman Beyond Batman. You can see though, it shares pretty much the exact same body. Short for being of the gloves are the only real distinct difference. Other than that, body-wise, it's the exact same. Head is obviously very different, paint is very different, but the body is exactly the same to one another. As another contrast, let's see if I can actually hold it with my hand here. Here is also the Nightfall Batman, which very different from the other two. It's the one that kind of stands out amongst the rest. Nice little aspects of Batman, different incarnations of Batman from the cartoon, you know, from the comics, and from the series here. In the way of Batman's posability, his head is on a ball joint also rotates all the way around. Shoulders hinge out as well as rotate forward. He has a bend in the elbow, rotation in the wrists, rotation in the waist, and very nice poseable legs, top thigh cut swivel, a hinge knee, and that's it. He has no uh, posability in the ankles or feet. Like it or hate it, it's an interesting design choice. It's kind of nice when you get these games and you get these patches where you can change the design of the character. 
while not necessarily crazy about the original Arkham design for Batman. It's kind of cool though that you can go in and change the skin to something maybe a little more suiting your needs. Maybe you like the more classic series Batman and it's pretty, it's pretty cool that you got the skin to, uh, to do that as well. As it stands for figures, it's not perfect. You know what? It's not that bad either. I wish the cape was a little bit better granted. Something just seems off on the cape here. But other than that, Really happy with the figure. It's just a shame that DC Multiverse has kind of gone, well, it's kind of de dead now as we speak. But uh, if for what it did and what it brought to the table, I wish it had brought more, but at least we got some pretty cool figures out of it. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the DC Comics Multiverse. We're looking today at the Batman Classic TV Series skin available in Arkham. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more toy spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.